Well, hello there. It is early morning and we are headed to the hospital because I have to do a stem cell harvest this week. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's basically they cycle all my blood out of my body and they have a machine that has this little centrifuge in it and spins like those ones that kind of separate plasma from blood and it um, takes out the stem cells and that is for my stem cell transplant which is coming up in a couple of months which uh, will be a whole different story altogether I'm not really looking forward to that because um, I've spoken to quite a few people that have been through it and it doesn't seem very pleasant and it means uh, two to six weeks stay in hospital for me because of what it does to your immune systems um, you know there's a, there's a really high chance of infection and things like that so I, I don't know if I'll be in hospital for six weeks or two weeks you know some people get through it in 11 days hopefully my age and all that sort of stuff has a factor of how quickly I recover uh, but that's going to be post baby coming out so it's going to be a little bit tough to have to sort of be isolated in a hospital without visitors when I've got a newborn baby at home. And Courtney's just jumped out and grabbed a coffee. So when she comes back, you'll get to say hi to her and see how pregnant she is. We have about 11 days to her due date. Uh, just saw the midwife. She's measured a week ahead as well. So the realistic a new baby could come between now and 11 days time. Uh, so that's really exciting. We've been spending a bit of time getting everything ready for that. And so you know, I don't usually send my pregnant missus yes, on purpose to go get my coffee <laughs> because I I got to take these needles right in my stomach every day, which is part of the stem cell harvest. And what it does is stimulates your bone marrow. I think I've spoken about it before. And they're called GCSF shots or something like that, or New Luster, or there's a whole bit different bunch of names for them that people use. And I, well, I've had had two of them every day for the last uh, four days so far. So I've had to go into the hospital every day. They got to check my blood, check how many stem cells I have in my blood, to see if I have enough to harvest. And what the needles do is stimulate the stem cells to get produced by the bone marrow. And last night they finally kicked in because what they said to me is you're not really producing stem cells unless you're in a really excruciating amount of pain so my back and hips aren't really functioning this morning but other than that I usually tend not to go in the cafe because it's pretty busy and because of, of the risk of getting sick it's flu season can't be in crowded places so don't worry the barista that works here has already had a go at me about sending my pregnant missus in to get us coffee today they um, asked me how until June, and I said 10 days. Like, oh, so you're just gonna like ready to pop any minute? I went, yep. And then they looked out the window to see if Tom was sitting in the car. <laughs> Already yeah. feel horrible about it. Yeah, that's my boyfriend. I'm just getting him a coffee. Well, oh well. <laughs> People can judge how they want. They don't know the full story. <laughs> but what about the other days that I do come here by myself and come get you coffee and your breakfast and I make it for you at home? Never it happens. Anymore. It does happen. Anymore? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, I'm getting poisoned every three weeks at the moment. I don't really have a great window of... You got to spill coffee on yourself again. She spills coffee on herself nearly every day. Alright, we need to go to the hospital. That red bag is my stem cells. That's the machine that separates them. Been here four hours. So tired. Mm -hmm. 
Freedom, freedom. So that's a stem cell collection. It look like I've been in a fight. So they got to ring us tonight, and basically you need like five million stem cells. Like they, they want a minimum of five million to do a transplant. So finished off the harvest, and then they got to send it to the lab. Scientists got to check they got enough stem cells in there if they don't I have to go back tomorrow and do it all over again pretty tired had my helper with me sleeping in one of the other recliners <laughs> all day eating chocolate pretty much I had a good day you what? I had a good day you had a great day sleeping and eating chocolate uh, I'm glad that's over and I hope I don't have to go back tomorrow Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are a couple of days after my stem cell harvest because I had a couple of ordinary days feeling a bit ordinary and resting uh, for a couple of reasons. When they do the stem cell collection, that big machine you saw me hooked up to, they, they hook you up with bags of calcium as well and the calcium is designed to stop the blood from clotting inside the machine. So that sort of, I had a bit of excess calcium, which makes you feel a bit funny and a bit ordinary. It's a bit like an overdose of a mineral. And uh, obviously from the needles that I have to have, and also had a blood transfusion as well, which you sort of get some immune response, or immune responses from that. You look kind of like allergic reactions and things when you have other people's blood. They were all pretty mild for me, but it just, kind of made me feel a bit off for a couple of days and really tired and then I was getting the side effects from having the needles uh, that stimulate my bone marrow which is called the peg shots or new luster or GCSF or depending on where you're from um, I'll show you what they are these things here so you have to I had to have two of these a day I've had these before but only one 24 hours after chemo to stimulate your bone marrow and it lifts up like all your your white cells and your um your neutrophils sort of to help you kind of fight infection and build up your immune response uh so it does really good things but the downside to it is that you get some pretty severe pain with it and feel pretty average you know, like like flu-like symptoms so usually i have one of these which would cover me over a 14 day period but uh leading up to the stem cell harvest you have to have two a day until it lifts up your what they look for is a certain um, uh, C reactive protein in your blood which indicates that you're pumping out stem cells out of your bone marrow and then that's when they take the collection if you don't know how it works the stem cell harvest or collection because uh, obviously we've got a lot of family and friends that have asked me and have never heard it before and what the process is and why it's necessary so basically what they do is they take your own stem cells, which is for a transplant for me for later on the track. So once I've, once I finish my chemo, which I've got my last round coming up this week, then I have a bit of a break for a few weeks. And I go into hospital with an inpatient and stay in hospital. They whack me with a big dose of chemo. That basically kills everything in my body right down to my bone marrow. And then they transplant my own stem cells back into me and hopefully they take on and grab and it's basically building your immune system from scratch again with your own stem cells and it's called a autologist autologist stem cell transplant and uh, yeah basically that's what's supposed to get me into remission so sort of your last line of defense I guess you could call it and if that doesn't work then we get donor stem cells from somewhere else and then I have to try those and see if that works but we're hoping because of my age and all and um, you know sort of uh, my age and what was yes physical condition uh, my own stem cells will work so that's a that's a fingers crossed there but the there's a possibility I could be in a hospital for up to six weeks because they really smash your immune system and you're really highly prone to infection. So I've got to sort of spend that time in hospital and that will be without a newborn baby, which I've had a few people asking and commenting, 
has not been born yet. He's still over there inside that belly. He's due any day now, but she, Courtney's doing really well. She's a champion, and we're basically just waiting on the arrival of him. We were going to put off my last round of chemo until he came out and then sort of do that after he was out and deal with it, just in case, you know, I was sick with side effects from, you know, when he's ready to be born and I really want to be there. But we sort of made a collective family decision that I'm just going to go ahead and get the last round of chemo just done, dusted and finished so we can sort of get on with our lives and hopefully be in the remission stage. So, yeah, just to explain a little bit more um, about the stem cell collection, you know, we, I said, I mentioned that I might have had to go on in two days in a row, so um, I didn't have to do that. It's basically like a big blood transfusion machine, it has a big spinning centrifuge in the middle. They add the calcium to your blood, spins around, separates the stem cells, spits them out in a bag. They said they needed about 3.8 million stem cells to be able to have enough to test and make sure there's enough there, make sure they're healthy and they can do the transplant. And I pumped out about 5.8 million cells in a day, which is possible, not usual. Um, but I guess because of my age and healthy bone marrow, it sort of all came out. But, you know, the side effects that come along with these needles are pretty heavy with the bone pain and the flu-like symptoms and all that sort of stuff make you feel really shitty. And so I had to have two of those. I put them in my stomach. I've got these little needles you jab sort of in the dermal layer of your stomach. So two of those a day. Plus I had some blood clots a few weeks ago. So I'm still on these needles which are Klaxane or heparin or whatever they call it. So I have to stick one of these in my stomach every day as well. So for like a week period there I was getting three needles a day in my stomach. And I'm still sort of got the remnants of that. What is that? Oh, it's a bit of fluff. But, yeah. So, a bit of fun bruising from all the needles around my gut. Um, but, all in all, stem cell harvest was a success. Last round of chemo this week. I've had a few people commenting and sort of wondering how I'm doing and where I am. Uh, I've just sort of been living life and enjoying time with the other half uh, while we're still parents still not well we're not parents well we're still just me and you because soon we're going to have a little third wheel that we're going to have to keep alive and it's going to have to do everything with us so we've just been enjoying our time together and going for long walks on the beach and in the park well i walk she waddles <laughs> she loves it so yeah stem cell harvest and that's how it's done. If you got any questions, comment, and I'll get back to them when I can. But I think I sort of covered everything there. Um, the needles really hurt for the stem cell collection. You have this giant needle because they've got to do like an in port in one arm and an out port in the other arm. And the needle was so big they had to give me like a local anesthetic and numb my arm before they put the cannula into my vein because it was so big. And it was the same on the other side. So I had a bit of soreness and bruising from both of them. So they're pretty hectic, heavy sort of needles. Um, but let's just hope the cutting edge of stem cell science is what gets me into remission. And yeah, that's about it. As always, guys, thanks for supporting us and all the positive words and comments. As you can see, for whatever reason, my hair has been growing back with this chemo. It's not really supposed to, but it's sort of growing back, not 100%, but mostly. But it's different colour to what it used to be. Different colour, different texture. It's coming out sort of curly. It's a bit weird. But, yeah, that's me for now, and I'll talk to you guys soon.